What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we are going to be reviewing uh, this Rat King and Vernon 2-pack from NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I want to give a quick shout out to Tyler Waits. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this 2-pack. Uh, he was kind enough and cool enough to send me a message on Instagram asking me if I still needed this pack. And I told him yes. Uh, it was really cool of him to think of me and uh, pick this up for me. So if you guys have an Instagram account, go follow him. He makes really, really cool tattoos, by the way. Uh, go get a tattoo from him because, man this guy's art is really cool his, his tattoos are really cool and if you see his cartoon tattoos if you guys are into figures and you guys are into like uh tunes and stuff like that uh go check him out because he does these really cool cartoon figures on tattoos um really really, really cool so go check him out i'll leave a link down below to his instagram uh, his name's tyler waits so go check him out once again thank you tyler waits for this two pack all right so with all that said uh, let's get right into the review. So this is by far the thinnest packet or the package or two pack that we got in so far. Even the April O'Neil is a lot thinner than this. I mean, a lot thicker than this. Uh, when he sent it, he sent it to me in a little pack, uh, but it was in a little box, but it was leaning sideways like this. Uh, he wrapped it up really good. He, he had this um, uh, bubble wrap, really nice bubble wrap and no damage to the package. He's he's a collector himself, so he knows what's up. Um, so he sent it to me really, really good in really good con condition. Uh, but it was a little box and I was like, wait a minute, what the heck? Why is that box so small? And <laughs> this thing is super, super thin. It's like my thumb is a lot bigger than this thing, but um, yeah, I don't know why it says it's so thin. It's even thinner, like I said, it's even thinner than the April Neo 2-pack. Um, but anyways, you get the same things. You get the cartoons of the figures right here. You get a uh, Vernon on the side. You get the, a shot from the figures there and the collections that uh, I already have all that. Uh, and then um, the Red King himself. Uh, so let's open it up and then uh, we'll talk about it. All right, so this is everything that it comes with. Uh, from what I heard, there were supposed to be more uh, rats. Uh, I might be making more rats, some more copy of these rats. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, I might have some clone rats if you guys want more rats. And I'll sell those in a little packet or something. But not at the time because I'm really busy right now. But um, someday, someday I'll make a little bit more rats and even in more poses and stuff like that. So... Uh, I'll sculpt more rats and more poses and stuff and I'll sell them in a little pack. Anyways, uh, this guy is full of accessories because this is freaking awesome. A bunch of hands, rats, camera, the uh, the belt that wraps around him, uh, some soda cans, the ooze canister, and then some extra hands and the little uh, righty righty piper. <laughs> Uh, that he sings and or he whistles and he make controls his rats and whatever and there's a wear rat uh, face for Vernon and uh, hands for Vernon and uh, let's just take him out man. all right first off let's review Vernon uh, Vernon uh, I guess he's just one of those I mean I think he has more more airtime than a lot of the other figures that um, we've gotten so far because uh, if you see the Triceratons um, there was only one episode of that guys and a lot of people wanted him but this guy came out in so many episodes but anyways uh the first thing i did notice of this dude is that his face is a lot darker or he has a tan on this one compared to the cartoon the cartoon he's a lot lighter he's almost a rat king they should have went with the rat king face color um i think that would have matched a lot more but anyways that's just me nitpicking right now but uh other than that, I mean, this guy looks, he looks just like Vernon, uh, compared to what they did with, uh, April O'Neil, <laughs> which was pretty freaking bad. Um, uh, I think Vernon came out really, really cool. I just hope we get another version of, um, well, I don't really care if we get another version actually of April because I, I'm, I'm literally fixing my April O'Neil at the moment and I fixed up somebody else's April O'Neil and I, 
know if you guys haven't seen that review go check out that review anyways uh as far as running goes uh, articulation you can get a rotation all the way around there's a double jointed bend right there a uh, little weird looking there's no elbow really it's like a it's like an arm piece of an arm half the arm <laughs> and then the forearm but i mean it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad at all like it, it's it's not a big deal um you can kick out that much you could double jointed uh knees uh shoes do move back and forth you do have a swivel side to side uh, which is pretty good uh, the neck looks kind of funky in there, but I know why they did it because you changed the head out to, or the whole neck, including the head and the neck, uh, to change them into the wear rat. Uh, so that's not a big deal. And you have a turn there at the waist. That's the waist. Uh, this little um, tie is a little rubbery thing right there. These are sculpted in. Uh, so yeah, he's got a little his little man purse thingy right there. Uh, the back it's just the back of course you got the two tones here and there this one you can hardly see the two tone i mean you could you, you couldn't you could notice it but it's it's harder to notice than than uh you usually notice on all the other figures but anyways um there's vernon um let's turn him into a rat oh by the way uh one of his accessories is a camera and uh he holds it pretty well but the hand is losing paint as you guys can see there there's a uh, paint a little hand off for some rent for some reason the hand started the paint started rubbing off the hands but uh yeah the camera looks really cool i like that it, it moves like that i love this little lens it looks like cartoonish really really good job with this all right, so here he is as a wear rat. Uh, I like the way he looks as a wear rat better than he did as Vernon. I, I, I don't. I don't have anything against the Vernon look. Um, I like it better as a wear rat. I think I'm gonna keep it this way. So, so you could do the whole thriller thing. I don't want to get copyrighted, so. <laughs> I'll let you I'll let you play the the song in the background on your own or let it play in your head but uh you get what I'm trying to do but uh I really love the way it looks like this like a werewolf or a were rat a were rat I should say uh looks really really cool as a were rat I think I'm gonna display them like this but anyways that's that's Vernon uh let's get into uh the rat king so here is rat king uh, this was by far one of my favorite figures as a kid. Uh, I played with this, what, with the action figure as a kid when I had him as a kid. Uh, that was one of my favorite action figures. I don't know why, uh, but it just was one of my favorite uh, figures. Uh, this one looks just like the cartoon, which is freaking awesome. Um, really love the way it looks. Uh, the articulation is really good on this guy too. Uh, awesome thing about it is that um, I didn't have to warm up the joints or anything. I didn't have to do anything with the joints because uh, they all worked out pretty nicely when I when I first opened them and I took them out of the package. Uh, they all worked pretty nicely, so I didn't have to deal with um, heating up the joints. But I do have the same problem that everybody's been complaining about, which is the little underwear thing here. Uh, as soon as you bend the leg forward. Uh, you could see all that crack on there and all that paint is going to come off, which is not, not good. Um, but so basically, in other words, you can't kick him up. <laughs> you can't move his legs up or else you're going to mess up all that paint. Uh, but as other articulations it's got double jointed there, uh, as feet go up and down, uh, my camera's about to die. So I'm going to have to switch to my other camera. So um let me try to get as much as possible here as far as articulation and then i'll go into accessories as soon as i switch my camera um it looks down like that it crunches that much it looks up a decent amount and looks back that much uh, really really cool figure uh one of my favorites i already know how i'm gonna display this guy 
Uh, if you guys watched my previous videos, uh, my uh, guess was back video, um, I tell you a little secret that's behind me. Uh, this is part of the secret. So um, I'm just letting you guys know little hints here and there until I show off what I built. Anyways, this is really, really cool. And then he comes with his belt and his little mini sodas here that you could put on his belt. Like so. I don't like Coke. Coke sucks. I think Coke tastes like straight up poo poo poo. So I don't wanna, I don't like Coke, but uh, Pepsi's not bad. Um, and then it goes around him. Somehow, I think. Like that. <clears throat> so there you go. And then of course he has his rats. I can go on his hands. Something like that. And then other rats that hang on him or hang on the sodas. Like so and then he has his righty righty piper pipe. <laughs> or his bong or whatever the heck this thing is. His bong or his plunger. Now that's his little his little flute to summon all the rats. And then uh, we got another rat just chilling on him. But yeah, really cool accessories, really cool figures. Um, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite packs so far. Uh, they both are really, really cool figures. Uh, I really enjoy them. Thanks again so much to Tyler for picking these up for me, man. Really awesome. He didn't have to, but he really did. He thought of me when he saw him, and that's freaking awesome. I appreciate it, Tyler. Once again, go follow him on Instagram. Go check out his tattoos. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to wrap it up before my camera dies. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace